today's video we're going to talk about 12 volt fridges. 12 volt fridge is something you'd have in a car, a truck, a boat, an RV, an SUV, a van, anywhere you want to have, you know, cold food and drink with 12 volt power. So today we're going to talk about 12 volt fridges. This video is not sponsored, however, it is a collaboration with Iceco, but I'm not being paid to say anything I'm going to say in this video. So I'm gonna try to be 100% authentic and uh, keep it real with you guys. On this side, this is an Alpha Cool fridge I bought for about 250 bucks uh, about a year ago, and it's been a great fridge. You can find these on Amazon. It's you know it's a pretty cheapy fridge. I had to add extra weather stripping. It's really lightweight compared to this Iceco, which tells me the insulation is probably subpar. And uh, I don't know, condensate's pretty bad because there's a lot of plastic around the inside. I just, I don't know, it just feels like kind of like a cheap, like uh, like McDonald's toy kind of. But at the same time, I can't really complain because this fridge has been, it's been great. It hasn't skipped a beat in the year I've owned it. I also like how the lid is reversible. You can open it this way or this way, which is kind of cool. Over here, we got an Iceco fridge, and this is a very nice fridge. When they reached out to me and told me they're gonna send me one of these fridges, you know, I was an absolute yes, because this is a really quality product. This fridge at the time of this video retails for about 550 bucks. I think they do have a promo going right now. You can get a little bit off, but let's just uh, say for the purpose of this video, this fridge is 550 bucks versus 250 bucks. And I know these aren't Dometics or ARBs, but at the same time, when you live in a vehicle, you're not really looking to shell out 1100 to two grand for a refrigerator. It's just, it's not realistic and it's not reasonable. So both these fridges are great options. However, the Iceco, the quality and craftsmanship of the product is just, it's nice. It's a little superior to the Alpacool. I like the stainless steel hinges. I like the weather stripping. I think my favorite feature, however, is when you have a vertical fridge like this, there's a reason these fridges are built vertically. And that's because cold air is heavier than hot air. So when you open a vertical fridge, all the cool air stays in the fridge, which makes it more efficient. Unlike your household fridge, when you open the doors, all the cool air just rushes out. But it's not a big deal when you're hooked up to, you know, short power. These fridges, they need to be efficient. So it really sucks when you got something on the very bottom of your fridge and you gotta unpack your whole fridge trying to get to it. Like, for example, let's say you're trying to make a sandwich and the mustard is at the bottom of the fridge. So you gotta unpack your whole fridge just to get down to that mustard. Well, not with this Iceco. It has these really nice basket feature. So you can just pull out the baskets and you know, it really makes things a lot easier, and I, I really like that feature quite a bit. It makes life a lot simpler when you have a vertically stacked fridge like this. It's also a lot heavier than this Alpacool, which leads me to think the insulation is a lot better. The inside is aluminum versus plastic. I just, I like it. I like the spring-loaded handles. I like the control panel on the other side. The lid, however, is not reversible, but that's not really a huge deal to me. I mean. I actually have mine in the same orientation, so it's not really a problem. I, I don't mind that. I also like the way it looks. This one looks like kind of like a like a cheap Dometic. It, it has the same color combination and just looks like a, I don't know, it just looks like a knockoff Dometic versus Ice Co. They're kind of doing their own thing with the color scheme and you know, I, I really like that. Both these fridges have the option to plug into 110 power or 12 volt and they actually, I thought this was kind of interesting, they both have the exact same plug. So, I mean, these fridges are made overseas, and because of that, that's why the price point is what it is. So, yeah, I'm really excited to test this out over the course of the next year or so, see how it keeps up in really extreme desert climates. Anything over 95 degrees, this fridge will just cycle on and off just all day and all night, which was really hard on my solar system. This fridge, however, has a really nice compressor. It has a C-Cope in it, which I think is really, really similar to a Dan Foss, I believe. So it's, it's a little quieter. I wanted to make a clip uh, comparing, the, comparing the, the noise that the compressor makes, but they're just, it's really hard to pick up on camera. They're both pretty, pretty quiet. So yeah, we'll see how this one does in the next year. I'll let you guys know if it sucks. I definitely will tell you, although just judging by the build quality of this fridge, I think it's gonna be a great product. It also has this extra jacket. Just for added insulation, it comes with this extra little little coat for your fridge, man. I thought that was kind of cool. I'm not really sure if we're gonna use it or not, but it's nice to know that it's there just for that little added, uh, you know, cooling barrier. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. A huge thanks to Iceco for you know collaborating with me to make this video, and uh, we definitely will put it through its paces, and we definitely will find out if it's good fridge or not. But right now, just judging by uh, by how things are looking and how they're feeling. 
I'd say this ISCO is a quality product. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. We're gonna get back on the road here uh, in a little bit less than a week. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys this Sunday. Is that a one take wonder? Yeah. 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 Yeah.